Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. Today we'll be talking about 10 computer apps and browser extensions that I love using for school, studying, productivity, basically 10 things that I find super helpful as a student. I'll try to link the apps and extensions in the description box to make it easier for you to download them. Hopefully I wasn't too lazy to actually do it, so check down below for links. And without a further ado, let's get started with the video. The first app I want to talk about is called Microsoft OneNote. If you do any sort of digital note taking and you haven't tried out this app yet, you're honestly missing out. OneNote is the perfect app if you want to type your notes on your computer or if you have a touchscreen or an iPad and you want to digitally handwrite your notes with a stylus. The reason a lot of people love it, including me, is because the app itself is completely free and it also has amazing features that you usually would have to pay for. For example, the organization of notes the app provides is amazing since you can create different sections in every notebook. For instance, in my school notebook, I have different sections for all my subjects and pages for every chapter inside the sections. You can also highlight, underline, draw things in the app, as well as add audio recordings directly into your notes. I use this a lot for recording lectures and it's quite helpful. Something else I really love about it is that it syncs to all your other devices and you don't have to pay anything for that, while other apps usually charge monthly fees for this. Basically, it's just a wonderful app that's definitely worth trying out. The next thing I love using is called Momentum, which is a new tab browser extension for productivity and motivation. It displays the time on a beautiful background that changes every day. You can add your main focus for the day, which is basically the number one task you have to complete that day. You can also add additional to-dos on the side, check them off as you complete them, which is super helpful. In the bottom, you get a motivational quote every day, which is an extra boost of motivation, and that's always nice. In the upper left corner, you can add links to your most used websites, like a bookmark just to make accessing things easier, and you also have a small search bar so you can Google things. It also has a settings panel that allows you to completely control the look of the page. You can enable or disable things from here. I really love this extension because every time I open a new tab, first of all, I see a really beautiful picture, but also I get inspired to get work done and reach my goals instead of watching Netflix all day. The third app I want to share with you is called XMind Zen, and it helps you create mind maps. If you've watched my What's in My iPad video, then you know it's one of my most used apps ever. I love the customization it gives you. You can choose from many different themes, designs, you can control the layout, the colors, and even the fonts or the font size. This is super helpful because sometimes the default layout can make things look very unorganized, and once you change the layout, you can make things look much neater. You can also add things like relations, floating topics, and summaries. There are basically more possibilities than you'll ever need. I prefer using the desktop version simply because the keyboard shortcuts make things much quicker and easier. Overall, I would definitely recommend trying this out if you're a visual learner like me, since mind maps or any other visual study methods help you memorize things three times faster. I know, it's kind of crazy. Moving on, I want to talk about Taskade, which helps you plan upcoming projects and organize your daily to-do lists. It's available both as an app and as an extension, and on top of that, you can download it for any device and operating system. Within the app, you can add new projects, organize them by tags, there's a bar that'll show you your progress as well. Inside the projects, you can add to-dos, lists, and even make the text bold or underline it. You can also add deadlines to everything, and there's even a calendar view where you can see all your upcoming deadlines, and that's very helpful. The app allows you to choose from different layouts for your project. For example, here's the mind map layout. 
You can invite friends to your projects and chat with them in real time. That's extremely useful if you have to do a lot of group projects all the time. All these options are available in the free version of Taskade, and it definitely has more options and features than this, so I can't even imagine what the premium has to offer. The next extension is called OneTab, and I have to say that my life changed after finding out about it. I don't know what about you, but when I'm writing an essay or doing any sort of research for a school assignment, I end up with 100 open tabs in my browser. I can't close them since they all have important information, but referring to the tab I need in that specific moment takes forever. This is when one tab comes in. It stores all your tabs in one tab, like the name suggests. You can group different tabs together and name groups for easy access. You can also lock groups so the links don't disappear after you open them. The extension automatically clears all your tabs when you click on it, but if you right click, you can choose which specific tabs get saved. Honestly, if you have a lot of tabs open all the time in your browser, this will save your life, so 110% give it a try. Next, let's talk about Google Drive. If you're not using a cloud storage software yet, you're missing out. There are so many to choose from besides Google Drive, such as Dropbox or OneDrive, so you do have to do your own research here. I love Google Drive since it integrates with Google Docs seamlessly, and it's great that I have access to all my files and documents on different devices. Now, if you already use it, you should also download the desktop app that comes with it. It's called Backup and Sync or something like that, which is a bit weird, but the app is amazing. It creates a folder on your computer that syncs everything you have in Google Drive to there. That means even if you have no internet connection or somehow you lose access to Google Drive, you'll still have a copy of everything on your computer. By the way, if you want offline access to your files on mobile as well, you can make any file available offline like I just did on the screen. The next thing I want to share with you is an extension called Grammarly. It helps you correct your grammar, punctuation, and can save you from a lot of embarrassing errors. You can copy and paste your essay and it'll automatically check for any mistakes you might have made. It works inside Google Docs as well, so if you write all your school assignments there, definitely download the extension. It also works inside other websites. I use it a lot when writing emails, and it saves me a ton of time since I don't have to proofread anything multiple times. Grammarly does that for me. Also, in the bottom right corner, it displays an emoji and tells you how your text sounds. This helps me make sure that the text isn't too formal or too informal. Honestly, it's an amazing feature. Whoever thought of that was a genius. The next step I want to talk about is PDF Element, who are sponsoring today's video. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know that PDF Element is my go-to app whenever I need to create, edit, or annotate PDF documents for school. It allows me to highlight and underline text, add sticky notes and callouts, which are perfect when annotating, and it also has cool features such as text recognition. That means you can upload an image into the app and it will recognize all the text on the image and make it editable, which is super helpful. If you want to try out PDF Element for yourself, you can start your free trial using the first link in the description box, and if you decide to get premium, you'll get a 50% off exclusive discount provided just for you guys to make the app more accessible and affordable to you. So if you have to deal with a lot of PDF documents for school, then definitely try out PDF Element, you'll love it. And also the discount is an amazing deal, so why not take advantage of it? If you follow a few studygrams on Insta, you've probably heard about the app Forest. But most people don't know that it also has a browser extension, which by the way is free, unlike the mobile app. It allows you to set timers and focus on your work by planting a tree. If you go on a website during the timer, it'll remind you that the tree is still growing, and if you don't get back to work, it'll die. And you obviously don't want your tree to die, right? 
You can blacklist specific websites such as Netflix, Pinterest, or Instagram, basically the ones that help you procrastinate. And you can whitelist the ones that you use when studying, like Wikipedia or Khan Academy. It also syncs with your mobile version, so if you're committed to growing your forest, you can easily do so by using this extension. Moving on, the next app I love using is called Kiki. It's not exactly a school-related app, but it helps you practice typing faster. Typing fast is just a skill you need in this day and age, and this app helps you learn it. It also tells you your exact typing speed, the specific letters you typed wrong, and more details. I try to spend a few minutes on the app twice a week, and I have to say my typing has gotten much faster and I make fewer mistakes, so I would definitely recommend trying this out, especially if you write a lot of essays or take typed notes on your computer. Before we wrap up the video, question of the day, let me know in the comments down below what day and time it is when you're watching this video. When I'm recording this, it's the last day of fall, November 30th, and it's 8.37 p.m. right now. I'm really curious about what day and time it is for you, so comment it below. Also, subscribe and turn on your notifications if you haven't already. I'm going to do a big giveaway very soon on my channel, and you don't want to miss out. I never did one for 100k, so I decided to do one for the holidays instead and give you guys some cool stationery for the upcoming semester. Finally, if you want to get extra study tips, inspiration, or chat with me, then come join me over on Instagram. It's a lot of fun. You can find me at Ellen Kelly Studies. So come say hey. I'm super excited to chat with you. But anyways, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you super soon with another one. Bye!